today's video what I want to talk about man do not do not touch other people's girlfriends or other people's wives don't be no set that best ain't for the head y'all rats up cheese really only get down for the bread yeah let them sleep yeah let them sleep yeah call it plot cutting some bar for the week who's who's smoking that trash we smoking that gas is the swim team in the building I said is the swim team in the building let's drown these and get these gold medals Squad, all right, ball head lads in the building. If you follow me on the gram, you see I told y'all I cut my hair off. Whoo, Lord Jesus. And I was talking about this joint right here. You see my calic is thinning out, man. It's only a matter of time before all this joint is gone. I decided to cut my waves off so I could grow locks. I was trying to grow my hair out before, but what happened was, you know, I see the waves and I'll come back and I'll brush and I'll do this, that, and the third. It was a distraction for me becoming Bob Marley last. So now there's no distraction, you know what I'm saying? And since this joint about to go, I know my hairline finna be back here just now, so it's one last ride. It's been a long thing. Without you, my friend. I don't know if y'all seen that uh, fat was it Fast Seven? I think it was Fast Seven, right? In the ending, one last ride when uh, Paul Walker was driving off and all that. That's what's going on right here. One last ride, man. I thought I was gray hair just now. Today's video, what I want to talk about, man. Do not, do not touch other people's girlfriends or other people's wives. Now, there's different reasons why. Now, I know it's a lot of people out here, a lot of a lot of folks, you know, you think it's cool that somebody else's girlfriend or somebody else's wife gave you a chance at hitting the box. I know. You think it's cool. But in the long run, when you get older and you decide to settle down and get in a relationship, you're going to have a hard time trusting females. You're going to have a very hard time trusting females because... In retrospect, a lot of the excuses she was using to come chill with you that she was telling her boyfriend, that she was telling her husband, you know, sometimes when you get a girlfriend and she she might not even be using it as an excuse. She might be telling the truth. Oh, babe, I'm about to go to the store. Oh, babe, I'm about to go to Publix. I'm about to go to Costco and get something, you know. Oh, babe, I got to work late. Red flags might start going up in your head because... You remember when you was banging this man's girl or his wife, that's the type of excuse she was using. I got I got scenarios, man. I got stories. Forget scenarios. I got stories, bro, of chilling with females and their boyfriend calling them. And I'm knee deep in her joint, just going crazy. And her boyfriend is blowing her phone up. I have, I have situations where... I'm knee deep in the joint and she answered the phone. All right, babe, I love you. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to hold you, bro. Sometimes, bro, my wife be saying certain things. I be like, let me chill the hell out. You know what I mean? Let me, let me relax. You feel me? That's why I'm just, I'm telling y'all from experience, bro. I trust my wife, bro. The reason I trust her is because of the type of person she is. But at the same time, you know, you never know. You don't know what somebody is doing behind your back. You know what I mean? And for me, I don't go digging, bro. Because when you start digging, talking about the devil. What's up, player? They can't take from I'm shooting a video. I'm, give me like five minutes. But then, I asked you if you were going to come say okay, then you said okay. Why don't you just tell me no? The creative juices just hit me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't no, know. No, babe, but please, you, you said something, I'm holding you to it. Just, it's fine, and now I know, now I know. I just need your support right now because this is really scaring me, but I'll wait. All right, give me like five minutes, I'll be here. Okay. All right, no problem. But yeah, so because of who she is, bro, I, I, I trust her, bro. She, she, what you call it? You know what I'm saying? Her whole um her whole thing is that it'll go against her morals or whatever. So, you know. But at the same time I don't go digging. 
do not go digging. Because when you go digging, you're going to find some stuff that you wasn't trying to find. You go digging for skeletons, you're going to find a body. You know what I mean? Don't do not do it. Just don't do it, man. If, if, if the person slip up and you happen to find, you catch them, then you catch them. Then you catch them, bro. That's how I feel about that, man. I don't know. That's, that's just how I feel about it, bro. I know it's going to be somebody out there. Nah, you simping, dog. You simping. I'm not simping, bro. You shouldn't be with somebody if you don't trust them. You feel me? That's how I look at it. And then a lot of you so-called alpha males, it's a lot of these dudes, man, that's telling you that they alpha males and all that, and they're giving you all these alpha males rules that they follow and all that, bro. Folks really ain't alpha males, bro. Folks is just a, a whole bunch of... They hurt, man. A lot of these dudes got hurt by females before, so they angry. And they just they just angry at women in general because one woman hurt them. That's really what be going on. I could say that because I've been through it. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy Goya Beans and Rice. <clears throat> when, me and, when me and my girl broke up, I was hurt. I'm like, yo, shorty really going to break over me? These, these uh, H words, I can't say the whole word and whatever, is grimy. You feel me? They grimy. They dirty. They some some slurs, some sleaze. And while I, while I was going through this, my man Goya Beans and Rice, he was like what, seventeen? You feel me? He was seventeen. He's still a baby. So he hearing me, and I'm giving him this this advice about women, and he's he's soaking it up, cause you know what I'm saying. He coming to my crib almost every day. Almost every day, I got a new chick over there or whatever. And I'm like, yo, this how you gotta do him, bro. This how you gotta do him. You gotta always have one up on him. But I was saying all that because I was hurt. Like, I couldn't believe that, like, somebody could just break up with me. You know what I'm saying? You don't You don't never want to want to be, um, not denied, but rejected. You know what I'm saying? People can't really, I people can't take rejection. I can't take rejection. Because in the back of your mind, it's like, yo, I trusted you and you, you hurt me. So, with me being hurt, I was just, I was out there, son. I was taking dudes' girlfriends down. I was taking dudes' wives down. You feel me? I was, I was, I was knocking them hoes down, bro. And my man seen that. And now, let's fast forward a couple years later. I feel as though that kind of put him in the the mind space and mindset that he got right now. Cause I don't think he ever had a girlfriend. I, he never had a girlfriend, bro. But he be knocking them down. He be knocking them down, son. I remember I remember I used to make fun of this man. Like, yo, 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 Goya, when the last time you got some buns, dog? Yo, chill, man, chill. Now, he knocking them down, bro. And now, I'm older. I'm like, yo, bro, when you going to get a girlfriend, man? You getting, you, it's time for you to start, you know, looking to settle down. Nah, bro, I don't trust these. I don't trust these slurs. <laughs> Ah, that's what he said, bro. I don't trust these slurs. I ain't ready, man. I ain't nah. Like, yo, how you ain't ready? You almost thirty, huh? It's my fault, man. It's my fault. I take blame for it. So, <clears throat> all I'm saying, all I'm gonna say is, listen. Do not touch people's girlfriends or their wives. And really and truly, man, if you feel as though you're gonna be in a relationship and you're gonna cheat. Just, just leave it alone, bro. Don't cheat, man. Don't cheat. Do not cheat. That's the worst thing you can do. Because that's going to create some very insecure bones in your body. Insecure bones in your body. Don't do it. That's my, that's my stupid advice. You can either take it, or you can leave it alone. But Don't be no sad. That best ain't for the head. Y'all rats no cheese, bro. Don't get down for the bread. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, call it plot. Cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.